Hello everyone and welcome to my autumn winter decluttering trying on video. A few months back I did this version where I tried on all my summer clothes to determine which items I still wanted to keep, what things I liked, what things were ready for the charity shop. Today we're going to do the same thing, I'm going to go through with you my clothes. I can't lie, I've not been looking forward to doing this because I know I've got to try on jeans today. Jeans. Oh, and I do feel like my style, my sense of any style, knowing what suits me, um, just seems to have shifted loads over the last few years. And I was watching back some old videos, and when I used to work a full-time office job, my clothes in the winter months were so different. I used to wear lots of smart office stuff, and I loved that. It looked really nice on me. And then we've obviously spent so much time at home, and last year I didn't go to many places, so I didn't really buy a lot of new stuff. Uh, so I don't actually have a huge amount of autumn winter gear to go through. I mean, it looks a lot. It's in this big box here from Ikea. Okay, maybe I do have a lot to go through. I mostly love dresses and tights, but I have been picking up a couple of pieces like this from Primark recently, and some things I can transition um, into autumn and um, work all year round. Obviously, I always keep things like my Disney spirit jerseys always stay in. So basically, we're gonna go through it all. I'm also really excited to say that today's video is very kindly sponsored by Readly. Now, if you don't already know what Readly is, you're missing out, okay? Because I've talked about this a lot on my Instagram. Quite a few of you may have already tried it before, but if you haven't, this is a digital magazine subscription app. I'm hoping you can see it with the glow of the light. There are over 5,000 different magazine titles to choose from, and I actually have two months for free. If you click the link below, you'll be able to try it out. It's $7.99 a month, but you can cancel at any time. And it's just an amazing way to get inspiration, to flick through magazines, to have like mindful reading time. I love it, I love it. In bed in the evening when Benji's watching like Match of the Day and FIFA videos, I sit and flick through Readly, or if I'm in the garden, I'm playing with Bonnie, I'll sit and read it. Or if we're on the train, I'm going to London, it's perfect for them. You can actually download titles and you can save and favorite the ones that you like. So I have a huge mix. I'm hoping you'll be able to appreciate this, but I've got things like fashion, home, travel, crime, um, your dog is one I love, Cosmo, Happy Full. Uh, I quite like the Dorset magazine. I like to look through that. You can see I have loads of choices here. Other little features that are really great, you can bookmark and save individual pages. You can look at the Discover tab and see what things have been recommended for you. You can also use the search function. So let's say Benji loves golf and you can actually share the um, same account with your friends and family. I think you can have up to five accounts. So my mum, my brother and Benj all have um, an account, but you can search the word golf as an example. And as you can see, it will show you all the different titles. So whatever your hobbies, tastes, style. Um, so like me today, I'll be looking at autumn winter stuff this afternoon to see what kind of um, clothes are actually in fashion and what I should be looking for. You can also flick through magazines in portrait or in landscape, which I quite like because then you get the whole spread, but it's just amazing. I think it's fantastic. So like I said, if you want to check it out, two months for free, link will be below for you. Big thank you to Readly for sponsoring this video. Feels quite fitting, seeing as I'm going to be needing to flick through all the autumn winter inspiration in all the fashion magazines. So I'll be doing that later. But for now, I think the best thing to start with is to literally go through and remove anything that is summer exclusive. So it's things that are my summer dresses that I will not be wearing through the winter. It is actually really nice weather at the moment, like end of September, we are experiencing um, lovely sunshine every now and again. Like today I'm wearing this plain black jumpsuit from Next. I live in this. I, if I wake up in the morning, I don't know what on earth to wear and I just want to be comfortable and walking Bonnie, I'm working from home. I always wear this. Oh, <laughs> let's not pop it open, shall we? <laughs> it's not, it's not flashy today. <laughs> this I got from River Island. I loved wearing this this summer. This looked so nice for going out for dinner and events and things. This dress I bought in Primark recently. You might have seen that in a little Primark haul. Uh, so obviously that is for now. I need to take the tags out. <laughs> So I've narrowed it down to hoodies, sweatshirts, Disney jumpers, normal thinner jumpers, 
um, that I wear, you know, if I was going out for lunch or something, like this one I love. I got this from a Stitch Fix box and it's their brand called Movet. I love, love, love that with the stars. So I've got quite a few that I like that. And then I have some like cozy knit ones. So these are new. This one's from Gap that I got in the sale recently and this is the Primark one that I showed you. And then I've gone into cardigans, like cozy knit cardies. And then I just have a few shirts and tops that I kind of wear all year round. Um, some of them I haven't had a lot of wear out of recently, like especially these ones, they're long sleeve. They're my Ralph Lauren ones I have in two different colors. So obviously they're probably gonna get a lot more wear now. Uh, and I have a couple of um, like top sign shirts like this that I can put on. They're both Stitch Fix, again, can you tell? I love Stitch Fix. So I've got a pair of dungarees that I keep out all year round, black ones from Sainsbury's. So we'll put those on the end. To be honest, I think I need to fold them up with jeans. It makes the most sense, doesn't it? So maybe we'll take those out and then we're gonna pop the dresses back in that I had. So Georgia Asda, Movet again, Stitch Fix, jumpsuit and Primark. Let's open this up. Okay, so I've got a few Primark dresses that I absolutely loved. I actually have like summer versions of these. So we can try some of these on, see what they look like. This jacket was in a Stitch Fix box that I got last year and I thought could look really cute. And then like we went into a lockdown and I never went anywhere. So um, I don't know if fluffy jackets are very me guys, are they? Is that very me? I might put it in with my jackets downstairs. Maybe I'll find the right outfit to wear that with. Oh, I forgot I bought this blazer. Again, I bought this from, this was Sainsbury's, wasn't it? This was 28 pound, still has the tag in because I never get, got the chance to wear it to anything. But I'm hoping now I'm going back up to London and going to meetings and stuff. I think with the right outfit, don't we just think a blazer is so lovely? I really like this. I feel like I don't need any more jumpers out. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I've got jumpers covered, but apparently I own more. This one, the sleeves are disgusting. Why would I keep that? And I might have to try and see if I can get the stains out, but let's, that's gotta go. My friend Cherry has a business called Ordinary Owl and I actually did a little photo shoot. <laughs> yes, I'm a model. <laughs> no, I helped her with a photo shoot for the collection that she launched and I got to keep some of the items after. So this was one of them. It's got a little pumpkin, 100% keeping this. This will look so nice in photos, won't it, for the gram. Definitely not feeling as inspired opening this box as I did when I opened my summer box, but here we are. So let's try on a dress now. Right, first dress, this was from Zara, and I don't know if you can see my bra. Can you see my bra? Um, but you definitely need like a little black cami underneath it, but it's a midi, oh gosh. Do you remember I had this problem last time? I can't get the full length in. It's a midi um, leopard print dress. I am obsessed with this. I think this looks really nice on me. I love the elasticated sleeves. Just so nice. I can put a little belt on if I want. This is a massive win. I'm, I'm loving this. These little skater Primark dresses just serve me quite well, especially for working from home. I can chuck this on. If you watch my vlogs regularly, you'll know I like the Primark super soft material. And this is one of those dresses. It is so soft, guys. I wish you could appreciate it. However, I remember last year, I didn't like this neck. Can you see? It goes up quite high. I do wish it was like I could get it. Like my mum could probably sew it actually for me. And I've got a leather well i say leather it's obviously fake primark jacket here this is new that i picked up recently pop this on you've got a little outfit <laughs> i i actually think i prefer dressing for autumn winter than i do spring summer this is so great apparently i like this sort of color you know in the summer video if you watched it i had loads of the like blue floral dresses that all very much looked the same i think we might be sensing a theme because i have another one here that's similar to the last although this is a v-neck and this was george asda yeah this is perfect do you know what i take back what i said about not being inspired this is great this is such an easy little throw on dress for me working from home right little v-neck elasticated sleeves 
tick, 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 tick for a brogan dress. This is another Primark dress. And we know how I feel about the little Primark dresses. Now, this one, this top, I was going to say I don't like it, but actually, I think I like that. Elasticated little sleeves. We all know that green is my colour. Like, definitely, definitely love green on me. It does have a little button at the back I haven't done up, but... Yeah, this is this is actually kind of perfect, isn't it? This is quite a good little throw on kind of dress. I like the little black spots on it. Primark clearly recycled the the old black dot thing. This dress is another George Asda one that I kept in my wardrobe all year round. It's a midi dress. I really love this. This is so comfortable and I love that you can sort of cinch it in. You don't need to get a belt. You can just tie that. Um, elasticated sleeves. <laughs> Drink every time she talks about the sleeves. Yeah, no, this is just such an easy little dress for me. And I think this colour looks really nice with my hair. All right, I totally underestimated how much I love George Asda because this is another little Georgia Asda dress. So let me just throw it on. Once again, it's a little skater dress that I can chuck on with some tights. I don't love these necklines, I don't know. But what I do is I just tuck it in like that and no one will know. How cute is this? Again, hello, thank you. This is why it's good to do this task so you can really see what you've got and what makes you feel good. And this is the kind of thing that like, yes. I didn't realize how much I, act I do actually love autumn winter clothes, but all these dresses are very similar. Yeah, I have found another dress. This is the Primark Super Soft Material, but it's actually not Primark. It's Blue Vanilla, which they sell in New Look. And once again, chuck it on, <laughs> easy dress. Love the little sleeves, that's really pretty actually. Blue, navy blue, we like that. Little floral number, perfect working from home dress. I'm so looking forward to just living in stuff like this. Um, so yeah, here's another one. Like I need to edit any more, but this feels, I wish you could feel this. It feels so, so soft. It's like my pajamas. Do you know what? I didn't even remember that I um, bought this dress, but this was from Next. And I remember I got it in the sale because um, I showed it in a vlog, like a, a chatty car vlog. I remember I returned some bits and came out with this. It's, it's kind of, not quite midi, it's like knee length. This needs an iron and a sort out, but I mean, this is, there's not much difference between this and all the others, let's be real. Um, give it a bit of a steam, an iron or whatever, and then, yeah, another, another dress. The next dresses, like we haven't seen enough, go into the territory of like evening, going out for dinner, or going to an event in London sort of dresses. We're looking at Zara, I think. Are they all Zara? They might all be Zara gonna show you them on I remember loving this one. Oh yes okay granted I know it's very similar to all the like casual dresses but with tights and boots this is a perfect going to an event or a meeting in London. Oh it's got a little string look so I can cinch it in a bit. No elastic sleeves but I will say that there is enough to get my hand in and out because we all know how I feel about cuffs where you can't get your hand in but yeah I, I'm, I'm absolutely in love with this forgot how much I love this but I, I did say I did remember loving it but I, did, I couldn't even remember that I had it full stop so that's that this is a perfect dress for me another <laughs> Zara dress green spotty this one is very short hopefully you can see the length but when you've got a pair of tights on it doesn't really matter so actually again this is just one of those dresses that works another zara one and i think this was one of the first midi dresses i started getting into but this is so comfortable oh my goodness the sleeves are just nice and three quarters it just hugs me in the right places doesn't it it doesn't have any like cinch or anything but doesn't need it it's got little buttons it's midi so i can start wearing it now with flats and then wear it with tights. It's a good sort of working from home dress again. Yeah, this is just, this makes me feel good. Like this feels nice on my body. I'll be honest, I have been struggling so much with body image over the last few months maybe. I've started working out with a PT that's been making me feel good. So I've been exercising, I've been eating fairly well, but I've just been really struggling in my own skin. You know that feeling where you're like, I don't have, I'm not putting on clothes in the morning that make me feel good. And when you find the right thing that just sits on your body in the right way, maybe that was the cure all this time. If you too have been feeling like 
you don't know what you like anymore and clothes aren't feeling good on you maybe switch out your wardrobe too because this is totally like re-inspired me and my love for clothes. I've just gone into the other wardrobe I have and I have quite a few dresses like this that are sort of more for a, a date night smart. In fact, let me put this one on because I love this. This is actually Tommy Hilfiger. I remember I wore this to the Prince's Trust Awards and it's a large and even though my shape and size has changed since I last bought it, it still sort of fits nicely. It's one of those dresses that it just works really well for lots of occasions for me specifically if I have to go to London and do events. The next collection of items are my dungaree dresses which I got into a couple of years ago. So I have a blue denim one. They are all from Sainsbury's. I've got this green one which was the first one I got and again I got them in the sale I remember and everyone kept asking me about them and I was like Sainsbury's love this green like corduroy one and then i also got it in blue with flowers on it these are so cute and they look really nice with a little plain top underneath it or some of you may remember this was like my favorite outfit this is like the, my most staple autumn winter outfit i wore for loads of things was this little shirt with foxes on it this layered with the green dungaree dress was really really cute i loved that a lot so all of those are staying so i'm going to put them in the wardrobe and then we sort of move into loads of jumpers and i already feel like i've got plenty of jumpers out but like some of them are real cute look at this one just found this very cute little bambi jumper um but i'm gonna go through the bottoms drawer now so i have quite a few midi dresses and skirts this is just a plain black one from Primark this one I bought recently also from Primark I really like this and then this one is a Matalan one I think so all of those will work so I will keep them in the wardrobe this little skirt I bought on ASOS um because I thought it'd be cute to wear with tights and boots so I might keep that out so now we've got to try on jeans which honestly I'm not looking forward to but let's just go for it I know you can't see my bottoms yet but I'll try and show you these are American Eagle jeans that did have a belt on them so we'll see if I actually need a belt why would I even keep that anyway look at that that's looking a bit rough let's just be gone I can't quite believe I'm saying this hopefully you can see but these jeans are actually pretty nice they fit really nice yeah they fit perfectly obviously they were a bit big before but now they're not um, the, the big problem I have with jeans like this is I get like bad camel toe. Anyone else? But these are actually pretty good. If I only have one pair of jeans, I have some. So that's good because I really just didn't want to have to try jeans on. But one is good. And then I've got one, two, three more pairs to try on. A pair of like, um, I never wore these. They're a pair of M&S like leggings I wanted to wear with high, high um, knee with knee high boots and then these are my dog walking um, trousers that I know will fit and they'll be fine so we'll keep those I'll try those on and try these jeans on guys I don't know what possessed me to buy these grey extremely high waisted they're almost at my bra and boobs leggings they are comfy but they look awful the camel toe is real the they're way too high waisted i mean i need them like down here they are just not a vibe i don't know what came over me but they are going to be donated and hopefully someone else will love them because they are brand new with tags in which doesn't happen all that often to be honest in my wardrobe i've got a couple of things but they were 20 pounds they're magic the magic leggings these jeans i've talked about so many times these are magic jeans they're river island they're a size 16. i have had them for years and they're a material that's just like really stretchy and they seem to fit me whatever size i am so <laughs> let me show you she says and then they're not going to go up now are they i have accidentally ripped them more and more as these have gone on on the knee but they're just jeans. I mean, they're literally just jeans, but 
they feel so comfy on. So these are also magic jean. They're literally called the magic jean from M&S. Um, they were the magic trousers, but these are the magic jeans. And they feel really good, actually. These fit really nice. But the problem I have is that I stupidly went for a short. And I don't know why. I should have just gone regular. But they're a bit too short. But if they're the kind of jeans that I wear with boots, then I guess it doesn't matter. The last jeans I got from Matalan and the ankle is just really tight. And I remember I have to, like, roll them back inside out when I take them off. And quite frankly, I just don't like them enough to want to have to do that. So be gone. I have plenty of jumpers so the original box is um, like half full still of just like jumpers miscellaneous bits and I need to go through that at another time. What I chose to do was chuck all the summer gear into this Ikea bag like this. I do have boxes upstairs so the plan is I'll just take it upstairs and fold it into the boxes but that will be future Brogan's problem so for now in the hallway. I hope you have enjoyed seeing my wardrobe and also it gives us a good idea of what to look out for now if there's anything I need. I mean, I don't need any more clothes, let's be real. I have plenty to see me through for this season again, but it's always nice to buy new bits as well sometimes. When I'm out shopping, I can keep an eye on what's trendy, what might look good on me, anything I don't already own. Got a couple of ideas of things, but I'm not really on the hunt for anything specifically. But you know me, I can't help myself sometimes. So we'll see how I go with those bits. But feeling good that I've managed to do that task. And I'm looking forward to flicking through Readly for some inspiration. So thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Make sure you click that link and check it out. Give it a try. It's a great winter companion. So if you are spending some time at home, it's a lovely little cozy app to see you through. Or if you're going on any trips again and you're traveling, you can download content in it. It's fab so thanks to them thanks to you guys for watching this video and click subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you again in my next ones bye